Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be looking at 20 brand new combos that you need to be using in Season 8. All of these are brand new skins. That means every single combo on this list features a skin that has only released since the start of Season 8. This is going to be an absolutely insane list and includes some big meme skins, some tryhard skins, and just some of the best looking skins in Fortnite right now. If you guys are excited for this video, make sure to go down and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, use code KAROYT in the Fortnite item shop, and check out my Discord and Twitch channel in the description down below. But that's enough talking, let's get straight into it. Starting us off in the number 20 position, guys, we have Jill Valentine with the Sheriff Stuffle Bag and the Twin Blades Pickaxe. This is easily one of the more underrated combos you guys will see right now. Jill Valentine was literally just released with the Resident Evil crossover, and I actually really like the way this skin looks. We do have two different edit styles, both of them are going to work with this combo, but I do prefer the style where she is wearing the hat. I chose the Sheriff's Duffel Bag because I think it works really well with this skin, it matches in with the theme and the colours work really well together, and then of course the twin blades just look like a pickaxe that belong with this combo. And that takes us to the number 19 position, and we have Trixie with the Hot Dogger Pickaxe. I've chosen a red on red style for the Trixie skin. I really like the way these skins look. I think they are easily some of the best customizable skins in the game right now. There are so many different ways you can style this skin, but I chose the Zebra Pattern. You can of course also use the camo style that does seem to be extremely popular as well and you can change out the face mask but I do really like this red diamond style. The hot dogger did also seem like a very cool choice, it is a brand new pickaxe and fits in with this theme perfectly. But that takes us to the number 18 position and we have Hush with Catwoman's Grappling Claw. Now we aren't talking about the old school Hush because that did release quite a few seasons ago, but this is going to be the brand new Halloween version of this skin, Haunted Hush. I really like the design of this, I think it is actually really really sick, and for a Halloween skin it is easily one of the best. I did choose the Catwoman's Grappling Claw for the pickaxe because it is very very simplistic, and by far one of the best crossover pickaxes I think we have in the game. Moving forward to the number 17 position though, we have Unchained Ramirez and the Gold Crow. This was added to the game with the Balenciaga update. I actually think the Unchained Ramirez is the best skin from that bundle. Not only is the default style of this skin really, really sick, but the more eliminations you get in a game, the more golden this skin becomes. And that is why Unchained Ramirez is going to match perfectly with the Gold Crow. We also have no idea if the Balenciaga skins are ever going to return to the store, so make sure you guys use this combo if you own it. And that takes us to the number 16 position, guys, and we have Tuna Fish with the Big Spoon Pickaxe. Both of these items are part of the Season 8 Battle Pass, so this entire combo only costs 950 V-Bucks. I really like Tuna Fish not only because it has such a clean design, but also the fact that it has so many different edit styles. Literally, as you guys can see on screen right now, there are at least 30 different styles for this skin, which I don't think we have ever seen before. I feel like we should be seeing more people using this skin as the season goes on, and especially as people unlock more edit styles. I really like this combo though, it is definitely for the big meme players as well, so if you guys are a meme player, then this is the combo for you. But let's move forward to the number 15 position, and we have Grizabel with the real pickaxe. Grizabel is a Halloween version of the Isabel skin. I really like both edit styles for this. We obviously have a normal green version and then this pink edit style as well. I do prefer the pink style because it almost looks like the pink Gold Trooper, which is a skin that I think everyone wishes they owned. The real pickaxe matches both styles of this skin as well, and that is why I think it is the perfect pickaxe for this combo. But let's move forward to the number 14 position, and we have the Cube Queen with the combat. That knife. The Cube Queen is the secret battle pass skin from Season 8, and I think this is easily one of the best secret battle pass skins we have ever had. The design is so, so clean, there are a lot of different edit styles as well, and that is why I chose the Combat Knife for this combo. Regardless of which edit style you guys end up choosing, all of them are going to work well with this pickaxe. But let's move forward to one of the latest crossover skins guys, and we have Chani with the Harley Hitter. 
This was part of the latest June crossover we got a few days ago in Fortnite. I really like this skin, we have seen a lot of pros and sweats using it, so I think it might be one of the sweatiest skins for Season 8. The Harley Hitter was a no-brainer for the pickaxe, it's going to match this combo perfectly and also make it extremely tryhard. But let's move forward to the number 12 position and we have the purple superhero with the Star Wand. Now I know these skins did release in Chapter 2 Season 4, but I had to include them on this list because you can finally use them in competitive game modes again. I know we have all been waiting for this day, I think the purple superhero is easily one of the best ones out there right now. We have seen a lot of people using it, especially with this rainbow emoji on it as well. I highly recommend using this if you are a Fortnite sweat, because this is going to make you look so, so good. That takes us to the number 11 position guys, and we have Carnage with the Sword of the Daywalker. Carnage is the tier 100 reward during the Season 8 Battle Pass, and I think this is easily one of the coolest skins in the Marvel series. The design of it is so, so sick, but I don't think we will see many tryhards using it. This is kind of just to show off that you have been grinding out the Battle Pass and reach tier 100. The Sword of the Daywalker might be a little bit of an interesting choice, but the more you actually swing this pickaxe, it does get a red glow, and that is why I chose it for this combo. But let's move forward to the number 10 position, guys, and we have Trixie with the Icebreaker pickaxe. I know we had Trixie earlier on this list, but I had to include it again just because of how amazing these skins are. I think this green and black edit style is so, so clean, especially when you use the camo pattern, and the Icebreaker pickaxe was a very easy choice. It is by far one of the most popular pickaxes in the game right now, and is extremely tryhard too. You can, of course, swap the colors or the pattern out on this skin to use the pumpkins, the skull, the zebra, or even the stripes, but I do think the camo looks the best. But let's move forward to the number nine position, guys, and we have Fresh Aura with the Merry Mint pickaxe. Fresh Aura is going to be released with the Minty Legends bundle any day now, and this is going to be the best bundle that you can buy in Fortnite for probably this whole season. The skins in this look so, so sick. I know I only mentioned the Minty Aura because I think that is going to be the most popular one, but we are also going to be getting a Minty Bomber and a Minty version of the Oro skin, all of which are going to work with this pickaxe. But let's move forward to the number 8 position, guys, and we have the Batman Who Laughs and the Stun Rod Pickaxe. This might not be the most tryhard skin in Fortnite, but I think this is one of the best male skins we will ever see. The design is so amazing, and I think it is up there with the best DC skins in Fortnite. The Stun Rod Pickaxe was also a very easy choice. I think it fits in with this Joker theme quite well, and it just looks like a pickaxe made for this skin. But let me know what you guys think of this skin in the comments down below. Have you bought it, and have you been using it? But that takes us to the number 7 position, guys, and we have Core with Michonne's Katana. What I really like about this combo is that because we are using a simplistic pickaxe with Michonne's Katana, you can use any edit style of core that you want. You can use a style with the trench coat on or off, you can use the red style, the arctic style, the grey style, or any of the ruined versions as well, and they are still all going to match with this pickaxe. But that takes us to the number 6 position guys, and we have Shadow Midas with the Harley Hitter. Shadow Midas has been one of the most anticipated skins for over a year now. I think we all wanted this to be added to the game last year, but we had to wait a whole year for this to be added to the item shop. I cannot wait to start using this skin. I think it is going to be my most used skin in Fortnite history. The design is so sick, and I hope you guys buy it as well. But let's move forward to the number 5 position, and we have Trixie with the Demon Slayer Blade. Now, this is our last Trixie combo on this list, and I chose to use the grey and black camo style, and I chose to use cyan for the accent colours. I think this actually looks really clean, we do see a lot of people using red for the accent colour, so I did want to change it up a little bit and choose this cyan colour. It is going to glow in game, which means it is going to match this Demon Slayer blade really really well, and make one of the best combos on this list. But that takes us to the number 4 position, and we have Chaos Origins with Catwoman's Grappling Claw. Chaos Origins was part of the October Fortnite crew, and the most exciting part about this skin is that we should be getting a brand new edit style for this very, very soon as well. A golden helmet version is supposedly being added to the game right now, which is going to make this skin look so much better. 
I really think Catwoman's grappling claw is the perfect pickaxe for this skin as well. It makes a really clean sound when you use it and it does have a very simplistic design. But that takes us to the number 3 position and we have Charlotte with the Demon Slayer Blade. For this combo, I am going to be choosing the enchanted version of Charlotte. I think it matches the Demon Slayer Blade perfectly, but again, if you don't like the way this skin looks or you want to be a little bit more of a sweat, then you can use the default style or even one of the ruined versions. That is still going to look very, very sick, and I think this is one of the best battle pass combos you can use right now. But let's move forward to the number two position, guys, and we have the fully white superhero with the Star Wand. This is without a doubt the most popular superhero skin that you can use in Season 8. Basically, ever since the fully black superhero skins did get banned, the fully white style has been without a doubt the most popular one. A lot of sweats do use the Star Wand with this, but if you do want to change it up, you can always use something like the Leviathan Axe as well, and that is also going to look very, very sweaty. But finally, guys, coming in at the number one position, the best combo that you can use out of all of the brand new skins is going to be Skeletara with the Reaper Pickaxe. I think the fact that Skeletara is just a Halloween Renegade Raider makes this skin 10 times better and explains why it is so popular today. This skin looks so, so sick. I would have loved to see an edit style for this with different glowing colors, but again, this default style is still really sick. We had to choose the Reaper pickaxe as well because it fits in with that Halloween theme and makes it the best combo in Fortnite for Season 8. But there you guys go. I hope you guys did enjoy my list for 20 brand new combos that you can use in Season 8. All of these skins have only released over the last few weeks, so I'm sure a lot of you guys really needed this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to go down and hit that like button and subscribe button as well. And make sure to go and check out my Discord server and Twitter channel too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.